Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing quick review of this Blue D wireless gaming headset for PS4, PS5, PC and many other devices. It comes with three different type of connection. It has built in Bluetooth, it comes with a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi stick and it even supports 3.5 mm wired connection. So this should fit almost for any device. That's great. But of course we have to uh, be aware of that not all functions are supported for every device, especially microphone or microphone mute button are not supported for every device. So here we have also some more information. That's the model BD GH. 030 and so let's take it out of the box see what we get and of course i'm also going to test how comfortable this is how good the sound is and how good the microphone is and i'm going to provide a microphone test recording sample of course also during this video so here is what we get everything nicely protected inside so here we have everything also the instructions manual maybe it could be helpful to show you everything really quickly if you are in doubt if this fits for you or you lost the instructions manual maybe this could be helpful i hope it's focusing nicely so you can see everything it's not mirroring too much i think it should be pretty much okay and we are already done here is the instructions manual then let's check all the accessories here we have the 3.5 millimeter cable and you can see it's a four pin to four pin so it's definitely possible to record here from the microphone then we have a USB-C charging cable I love this USB-C that's the future and then the 2.4 gigahertz stick I mean it's not a mini not a micro it's full size but this is pretty much still standard probably with this size of the stick we have even better reception and here we have the headset itself looks like we have a decent amount of cushion also here around the ear cups really a lot of cushion we can expand them on both sides what we see is that's uh, yeah that's definitely not metal so something maybe to consider but it, it looks still uh, quite strong even though it's not metal and the microphone can only be adjusted to one side so you would have to wear it like that you can't wear it like the other way around and then put the microphone to this side this is something to consider but this is also pretty much standard these days but you also have to be aware of that there is no light at the headset i mean there's no illumination and there's also no light at the microphone which would indicate that it's recording and with the mute button it could turn off so you can see when it's not recording these things that's uh, not available here then the microphone we can bend a little bit i would say i mean it's not a full size gooseneck but that's uh, quite good here i would say much better than average what i see usually at this price point this is definitely a huge plus here regarding microphone that we can point it uh, much more precisely to the position where we want to have it. In this review I'm not going to test and show you all type of connections. I'm go just going to test the 2.4 GHz connection because I think that's the connection type which most people are using. So here I'm currently charging the headset and there's a little bit of a complaint i mean it's not very important but i have extra turned the light off so you can see the red led light i've never seen such a dimmed uh, led light it's almost impossible to see when it's charging when i remove the thing you can see maybe the difference but it's definitely not a lot now you can see it's totally black when we uh, plug it in now it's charging and showing red this should definitely be uh, a stronger light but it's just a very small complaint so i unplug it here and now i'm going to turn it on to try to connect so here we have the on off button let's try we can see the blue red blinking light and so we have to plug it in here in the usb port let's see what happens if we get some notification 
setting up a device, we are setting up the, yeah, okay, that's good. It even provided the model type here. That's really nice. With some other headsets, you have to really find what it is. It just says a uh, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi headset or something like that. Here we can uh, see the dedicated model number. So we have to wait for a little bit till everything, like all the drivers are uh, automatically installed. So we didn't get any more confirmation from the PC, but it looks like everything is installed. So I would just give it time maybe like one or two minutes uh, yeah one more thing here recording the LEDs yeah maybe they can really work in the future a little bit on the LEDs uh, that's almost impossible to see we have an LED light underneath which confirms if it's uh, connected to the headset and it's showing so solid blue when it's fully connected it's impossible to see now you can only see it mirroring down here because the LED is down here and it's uh, absolutely impossible to see without uh, lifting up the PC that should be on the top or on the side actually but uh, also a uh, very minor complaint so I've been testing and wearing it for a while and this is my result or my findings yeah, and I'll unplug it here. Yeah, definitely as uh, already expected with this huge cushion here, it feels really comfortable. Also this on top here helps a lot and we have a decent size. I mean, it's really large here, decent size of the ear cups on both sides. So. Uh, at least my ears fit really nicely here inside so there's absolutely no pressure on the ears the whole thing the whole weight everything is outside on my head that's really good this is what we really want then the audio the, the sound i've been testing this with this ultra deep bass sound test on youtube and it worked absolutely awesome with these 50 millimeter drivers here inside you can definitely expect uh, ultra deep bass sound yeah it was really phenomenal absolutely uh, fantastic the sound and you can really regulate this with this uh, volume wheel here from uh, nothing to really loud and the good thing it's a really good quality it's not a cheap wheel here doesn't produce any cracking sound or so this is really good also the whole thing how to operate that i mean this is behind your ears or like outside you won't see that so i think they have arranged these buttons and everything really nicely so you can feel that with your hand it's absolutely no problem with some other headsets i've seen that very close to each other and so sometimes it's very difficult to find out uh, where which button is but that's definitely not a problem here it's very easy to find everything what you need without looking at it and you can just long press here to turn on and off you press three times to switch into bluetooth mode and all these things and everything will be nicely confirmed with a nice sound like audio confirmation by the way what's also good is the audio confirmation is also depending on the volume here so it's not a, like a super loud annoying voice or so which will almost uh, bother your ears or so that's definitely not happening here so if you don't want to have this very loud just pull it a little bit down i mean if you have it on the lowest setting you won't get any confirmation at all so you have to have it somewhere in the middle when you start it and also the microphone has been working really good it doesn't provide a lot of pop protection i mean as far as i can see we do, didn't get any wind sock or so but we can nicely uh, put this a little bit away from our mouse i had it about a hand width away from my mouse and then it worked pretty good uh, it was almost removing all the pop effect if you have it too close then you will feel some pop effect i had it pretty far away and then everything was really good the voice was still very clear and almost no pop effect and everything is nice and clear and natural uh, so i'm going to play that now for you so you can uh, charge on your own now i have the microphone a little bit further away from my mouse to avoid some pop effect which i had when i was closer it's about one hand width away from my mouse 
So I'm doing the microphone test now, Bluetooth wireless gaming headset, microphone test, one, two, three, four, five. So I hope you have been able to hear that. And again, I would say it's on a really good quality level. The only disadvantage is that the sensitivity of the microphone is very low. And I had to boost it uh, around 15 decibel to bring it on the same level uh, as the microphone which I'm using usually. That's uh, a lot. But luckily the quality of the recording is really good so it's no problem to boost it. So if you're working like with a PC or PS4, PS5 or those uh, devices which uh, easily can boost these things or you're working with Skype or these things, most of the programs these days they have good uh, microphone booster included so it shouldn't be a problem but it's some, definitely something to consider. Other than that I would say it's a really nice package especially when we think about how easy it is to set up. By the way, yeah, I was wrong actually regarding confirmation. After about five minutes, I got confirmation about the installation. It has nothing to do with this brand or so. It's just because I had a super low uh, internet connection. It was my fault. So probably you will get a notification for the installation after about a minute, but everything uh, works automatically. When you have it plugged in and connected, it will automatically detect or use also uh, directly. It will switch to the microphone from here and also to the uh, audio output from here. So you don't have to do anything. That's really convenient. And in case something goes wrong or you run out of power or so, battery would be empty. I mean, battery lasts really, really long. I mean, you could use that at least for a week or even two with full day working or listening that's really amazing and but if it would happen that uh, you are low on battery you could still use this 3.5 millimeter uh, connection and you have also bluetooth in case anything goes wrong so this is super flexible uh, really good audio quality good microphone quality very good wearing comfort I mean, I have extra large or I would say at least large to extra large head size and it has been very comfortable. So if you have like large head and you're struggling to find a good, uh, comfortable headset, this could also be a reason to buy. So a lot of reasons to buy. So from my side, full recommendation and I'll put down the link to the Amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it. And I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.